Hello. Link skills are primarily used for party and two-player content. There is, however, a way to use them with minions. It's a minion defense mastery. And what most people do is, like, try to run it on some high health minion that exists on the Guardian, the, the big fire aura guy. And that usually requires quite a bit of uh, scaling because those kinds of minions still take quite a bit of damage and you need to make sure they maintain a, a certain health and, like, don't die because links cause you to die if the minion dies. And it's also a really awkward playstyle because of how the minion AI interacts. Though, we have this lovely sword, the Dancing Dervish, to help mitigate that. Because for some reason, this, this sword has so much damage reduction, not like elemental or physical, it's just flat damage reduction. I have never seen these things die. And I've played a lot of Hollow Palm, so these things take a lot of damage. And so, what I'm using this, what I'm using the Dancing Dervish, is to basically save a lot of points into investing into a minion, and instead invest that into damage skill. So what are we using for damage skill? Well, you could use something like Flame Link, or um, some other cast on crit link, uh, I think it's like intuitive link to uh, cast and use the high attack speed of the dancing dervish to do that i'm using a flame link just because uh it's easy and it doesn't add any other requirements what i'm really using is this forbidden shako with frigid bond obviously not the highest level i could get but there's isn't really a lot of these shakos on the market so i got what i could at the budget i am which is a uh, in the, in the dirt. So I have that linked with a f a Bone Chill, Control Destruction, and Swift Affliction. Um, and what I'm doing is mixing that with the Hands of Frechia. So this is intended to be mostly for uh, Link skills. And it's very nice. It still applies the effect while linked to the target, which is very good. But, you know, if you also combine it with Victoria's Influence, which will probably not survive the next uh, League update, um, you get quite a bit of mana reservation and are able to stack quite a bit of defenses and damage through that. And because um, this Cold Dot is considered not an affliction, uh, because it's cold damage per second and not... Uh, a specific type of affliction uh, on the list. Uh, I'm using basically aura stacking in various means to get that damage up. Uh, and so what I have here is I showed the gems here. Uh, got some links for automation. Got a phase run to help with speed. Basic uh, very early gear for like life. I'm using corrupted soul with high levels of life, converting the energy shield, getting some extra energy shield, getting ghost dance to help regen some of the energy shield. Not sure if I need Vile Bastion, but I have it there just in case. Um, I test a little bit without it. And then getting some life recoup. And then I got the Petrified Blood, and it's got a little bit of increased effect, I think. I think. Either way, it's, it's still working out for me. Got a bunch of stuff over here. I'm going to be going up through this to use this increased cold damage to scale more cold damage because right now I feel like the defenses are all right enough. And that's partially because these Dancing Dervish are doing a lot of heavy lifting for our defenses by doing a lot of taunting. We have Meat Shield on here doing twofold because it taunts. That's very good for maintaining our defenses and keeping enemies from attacking us. And it also alters the AI so that it's closer to us, and that's going to make it much easier for us to not break the, the link, and also to kind of walk the Dancing Dervish around. They're, they're very leashed. It's kind of like walking a dog behind you. I, I guess that doesn't make sense. Whatever. Um, 
We also have Elemental Army over here. Applies exposure, a little bit of extra damage. Culling Strike, fantastic. Always use with the Dancing Dervish because these things attack so often and they will always get that culling. Uh, blind, this is actually very nice because we're going high, high evasion, so constantly applying blind because of how quickly it attacks. And then these last two are just because I don't want to reroll for better links. Uh, I have Maim. This one's not too bad. Helps slow down the enemies. It's good for main maintaining them in the link. And then damage on full life. Now, I'm also not going to pretend this is entirely optimized. This is literally just what I threw together while leveling. I had these ideas going around and I figured I should try them out. I also wanted to try the aura stacking before it got probably snapped away next league. So this is what I'm trying. Obviously, you probably want to switch to Cluster Jewels and a lot of flat damage multiplier over time because, unfortunately, I do think this is going to hit a damage ceiling at some point, but there are probably better ways to scale it. Um, is there anything else I need to note? I think, I think that about covers most of what I have. I'm currently only level 74, but um, I've had a, c a couple lucks with running some higher red tier maps. Do I? Come on, come on, come on. Frogs or rats. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to run this map. So what we're going to immediately see is want to have automation on, keep your phase run going. And if you have Convocation linked to it, I unfortunately can't. You do that to man maintain the Dancy Dervish within a speed. And then the one unfortunate part is that you need to start the Dancing Dervish, which requires about 15 hits. The fastest I've found is to use Cyclone, but unfortunately we don't have any accuracy. So it takes a little bit longer than I want to, and that is something that is necessary to solve. But as you saw there, it's going to save you maybe a second or two at the beginning. And then your job is just to zoom and maintain the link. Because the link goes away after about 10 to 12 seconds. Oop. Keep that going. Yep. Maintain the link. And then really all you want to do is kind of do like little figure eights around packs so that you just swipe the link in between them. You apply the dot. It maintains it for the two second duration after it leaves uh, the link. And then you can move on. Whew. Yeah, oh, that's, that's also the fun of Dancing Dervish. It gives you Rampage, which gives you movement speed uh the map the link mastery i have currently also gives you movement speed while you're linked um there's also it's not the link mastery it's the link node but the mastery itself which i'm going to talk about right now is something you probably don't need it's a quality life one it basically says in one cast you will link to two targets which means you just have to cast once instead of twice every 10 seconds so if you cared about properly optimizing and don't care about uh, the quality of life with that kind of thing, uh, you're better off probably getting the exposure, maybe even the movement speed, because I don't know if uh, it would just make it easier to keep up with Dancing Dervish if you're both at the same movement speed, but it definitely helps to be faster than Dancing Dervish, so you, you, you can do stuff like this. Uh, oh, yeah, that red beast is dead. I was worried he wasn't actually dying. <laughs> so, but that at least shows that this thing is doing some actual damage. Uh, in, in parentheses, quotation marks, this is a tier 16. I know the, the new standard is being able to run tier 17, so. Uh, it's, it's gonna take a second to get up there, because my defense is... We're are gonna need some more some more proofreading, especially with how it 
it works out. But because the Dancing Dervish takes so much aggro out, I kind of feel like the high amount of uh, evasion chance I have due to the aura stacking, plus the splitting of the damage and all that just makes it so much easier to maintain. Yep, there we go. And I'm glad. This is also very interesting because it encourages a zoomy play play style. Because you you don't want to be constantly lacking behind because the the rampage is constant going. And if you drop your rampage, oh, you you drop the dancing dervish and you drop it. So yeah, obviously not insta giving. Uh, bosses immediately, but with a lot more investment and an actual curse, because I didn't have any frostbite in here, and you know, if you have dual curse, it's like, oh, that's gonna help so much. But this will probably be something I work on in the future. I know I said that about the slow projectiles, but that's taking a bit longer. It's that one's a lot more complicated than this. I was taking a break and playing some Dead by Daylight, so... Yeah. Hopefully this was interesting. Uh, YouTuber stuff, like, comment, subscribe. I may start a Discord soon. I'm still thinking about it, but hey, thank you.